And now on the baseball season, I'd like to do Casey at the bat, and I'd like to do it in seven different voices. Peter Falk, Cary Grant, Ed Sullivan, John Wayne, James Cagney, Kurt Douglas, and Boris Karloff. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Casey at the bat, as told by Peter Falk. The outlook wasn't brilliant for the Mudville Mine that day. The scores to two to four with but one inning left to play. So when Coney died at second and Burroughs did the same, a sickly silence fell upon the patrons of the game. A straggling few got up to go, leaving there the rest. With the hope that beats eternal within the human breast, for they thought if only Casey could get a whack at that, they'd put up even money now with Casey at the bat. Harry Grant. But Flynn preceded Casey, and likewise they did Blake. The former was a pudding, the latter was a fake. So on that stricken multitude our death like silence sat, for there seemed but little chance of Casey getting to the bat. But Flynn led drive a single to the wonderment of all. Ah! And the must despised Blake tore the cover off the ball, so when the death had lived it and they saw what had a kid, uh, there was Blake a safe at second, and Flynn a hug in third. Ed Sullivan. And up from the gladden multitude came up a joyous yell. It bounded from the mountain tops and rattled in the dell. It struck upon the hillside and rebounded in the flat for Casey. Mighty Casey was advancing to the back. John Wayne. Oh, there was ease in Casey's manner as he stepped into his place. There was pride in Casey's bearing and a smile on Casey's face. And when responding to the cheers, he lightly doffed his hat. Well, not a stranger in the crowd could doubt twas Casey at the bat. Ten thousand eyes roared him as he wiped his hand with dirt. Five thousand tongues applauded as he wiped them on his shirt. And while the New York pitcher ground the ball into his hip, defiance gleamed in Casey's eye as sneer called Casey's lip. James Cagney. And now the leather covered sphere comes hurling through the air. And Casey stood watching it in a haunting grandeur there. Close by the sturdy batsman that ball and he did sped. Then eight my style, said Casey. Hmm, strike one, the umpire said. From the bleaches, black with people, there came a sudden roar, like the beating of storm waves on a stern and distant shore. Douglas. Kill him. Kill the umpire, someone shouted from the stand. As likely they had done it had that Casey raised his hand. With a smile of Christian charity, great Casey's pitch had shown. He stilled the rise, he told me. He bid the game go on. He signaled to the pitcher, and again the spheroid flew. But Casey said ignore it, the umpire said, strike two. Fraud, cried the maddened thousands. And the echo answered, fraud. But one scornful look from Casey and the audience was awed. They saw his face go turning cold. They saw his muscles strain. They knew that Casey wouldn't let the ball go by again. Boris Carlo. The sneer is gone from Casey's lips. His teeth were clenched in hate. He pounds with cruel violence his upon the plate, and now the pitcher holds the ball, and now we let it go, and now the air is shattered by the force of Casey's blow. All oh, somewhere in this favoured land, the sun is shining bright, the band is playing somewhere, and somewhere hearts are light, somewhere men are laughing, and somewhere children shout, no, but there's no joy in Mudville, mighty Casey has struck out.